kingdom minded. Kingdom mentality is a framework that allows us to see things from the most high's point of view. It's the unshakable commitment to the sovereign cause of Yahawashai that motivates us to present ourselves as a living sacrifice and to seek first the kingdom of Yahweh. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hercha, Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom to the 144, Shalom to the 130. All right. Um, I've done a lesson like this before. I think I called it kingdom minded, but I just want to touch touch up on these precepts again because I feel like this topic is very important for the hopeful elect to be reminded to be kingdom minded. All right. Have a kingdom mentality, kingdom mentality. All right. And I'm going to go in a couple of these words here, you know, just to uh, bring that point out. A kingdom mentality, kingdom minded. All right. You got a lot of different Israelite camps, you know, that are basically reprobates and they're going to be rejected by Yahweh Shai because they're doing their own thing and they're not kingdom minded. They don't have a kingdom mentality. You know, they have a carnal mentality. All right. You see prophecy popping like popcorn. The Lord is bringing forth, you know, um, bringing forth these prophecies. His will is being done. And you got men climbing up some other way. You got men doing their own thing because they're carnal minded. You know, they want to, you know, take matters into their own hands. When the Lord said, you know, wait ye upon him till he rise up to the prey. It's very important to listen. It's very important to take heed. All right. And, and have the kingdom mentality. So what is the kingdom mentality? This is a quick definition that I had uh, wrote in my notes that I found when I made this lesson a while back. And uh, it says kingdom mentality is a framework. Let's just start there. Kingdom mentality is a framework. So what is mentality? Let's just look that word up. Right. This is uh, the Collins English mentality. It says your mentality is your attitudes and your way of thinking. So mentality is your attitudes and your way of thinking. So you know a man by the way of his attitude. All right. You know a woman by the way of her attitude. And it says, and your way of thinking, you know, you know, a man and a woman from their way of thinking, how they process things, you know, how they uh, respond when it comes to situation or they respond, you know, when they ask the question. All right. Mentality. Mentality is your attitudes and your way of thinking. The mentality we want to have is the kingdom thinking upon uh, the Lord making his second return. Uh, in, um, uh, bringing forth righteousness, man. All right, I'm thinking. Of, I'm trying to think of the scripture or uh, the wording um, where the Lord um, established righteousness, man. All right, I can't think of the wording. It's not coming to me. Uh, uh, but when the Lord established righteousness here in the earth, that's what we're looking for. Hasting in the day, you know, looking forward for the Lord's prophecies to be fulfilled, not, you know striving to build upon a graveyard because babylon the great aka america is a graveyard and we're not looking to be millionaires we're not looking for money you know to help this place thrive we're actually looking forward to the lord bringing this bitch or let me say bringing this 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 uh city this babylon the great to an end okay because we know that the kingdom of heaven is going to be established right here on earth. All right. We're in established righteousness. I don't know why. Uh, bear with me one second. It's bugging the hell out of me. Um, man. It's, uh, man. Salakia, bear with me. Let me go read this scripture real quick because it's bugging me. Right. This is Revelations chapter 21 and 1. It says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, 
coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the most high shall be with them and be their power. It says, And the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away it says and he that sat upon the throne said behold i make all things new and he said unto me write for these words are true and faithful and this is the kingdom that is coming this is being kingdom minded having a kingdom mentality looking forward to these prophecies being fulfilled man all right also holding yourself, you know, in the right ordinance with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, doing his will, not your own. You know, the scriptures say, lean not upon thy own understanding. You know, we supposed to wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's word. You know, scriptures say if they um speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. All right, meaning Yahweh Shai ain't dealing with them if they don't speak according to this word. Okay. Um Bear with me one second. I don't know why I have to get the scripture. <laughs> that that was good, but I, I'm I gotta get the scripture, man. Salakia, Salakia. Oh, Salakia. I know where it's at. Second Peter's chapter three. <sighs> yeah. All right, let's read this. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and 11. It says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. The Wali Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It was bugging me. You know, I got to had to read it. All right. Because this is the kingdom mentality. Looking forward and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, man. It says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Meaning this heavens, man. This, this society. Okay, Babylon the Great per se, uh, should I say, you know, in other places is going to be hit. But this place, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is that lake of fire. It will be. It says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fur and heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, showing you those that are chosen, the elect, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein the well of righteousness meaning a refreshed heaven a refreshed earth all right where well, all things are made new okay and established under righteousness man okay not under the wickedness of the edomites or the heathens but of righteousness of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and his people the israelites the saints that's what we're looking for man so now water got that out the way kingdom mentality what is a mentality? Mentality is, your mentality is your attitudes and your way of thinking. We got different attitudes and we got different ways of thinking. But we have put on, which is the Lord's, the scriptures say, put on the elect. All right, put on Yahawashai. We have the thinking and the attitude of our Lord, Yahawashai. Big difference, man. It says kingdom mentality is a framework. Now, a framework. Right, the framework is the scriptures. This is the Collins English for framework. A framework is a particular set of rules, ideas, or beliefs which you use in order to deal with problems or to decide what to do. And we use the scriptures for that. All right, so our framework is the Bible because we go to the Bible for what for the for uh for our rules, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, what we believe in, our beliefs, our culture, okay, is the Bible, okay? 
It says, which you use in order to deal with problems. It says, or to decide what to do. You know, we got situations. How do we handle it? We go to the scriptures. We see what's wrong. We see what's right. We see what's wrong. We see what's right. We see what's right. We see what's wrong. All right. And you make a decision. You know, you judge on both sides. Okay. You get the understanding here. You get the understanding there. You make a judgment. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So kingdom mentality is a framework that allows us to see things from the most highest point of view. Not your point of view, but the most highest point of view. All right. That's why the scriptures say, the Lord says, seek my face. All right. We seek his face, meaning the Bible. All right. It says it is the unshakable commitment to the sovereign cause of Yahweh Shah Mashiach that motivates us to present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Now, it says commitment, because when we came into this truth, you made a commitment when you repented and you believed. You made a commitment, all right? And we all know that the Lord said, he that put his hand to the plow and looketh back is not fit for the kingdom, all right? It says, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved, all right? Many are called, few are chosen. So the commitment, right, Collins English. Commitment is a strong belief in an idea or system, all right? The idea in the system is the Bible, all right, which is the truth. So it says kingdom mentality is a framework that allows us to see things from the most highest point of view. It's the unshakable commitment to the sovereign cause of Yahweh Shai that motivates us to present ourselves as a living sacrifice and to seek first the kingdom of the most high. That's heavy, man. I love that, man. All right. I love that, you know, and it says to present ourselves as a living sacrifice. And they give me a couple uh uh, uh uh scriptures right so let's go to the book of romans chapter 12 and 1 it says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of yahweh that you present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service so it says that you it says that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. So when you made this commitment and you repented to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you have now presented, you are now, st you start to present your body as a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice, man. All right. It says um, holy. Holy means to be set apart because you're not a part of the world. It says, it says acceptable unto the Most High. And that's heavy. Acceptable. Because we're hoping that this sacrifice is acceptable to the most high. That we're doing, we're doing what he pleases. Remember, you still have to please your how about Shemia Shai. And these men in these different camps, they don't care about pleasing the Lord. Alright? They just put garments on, still got dreads, bunch of ninjas, never put away the old man, and then they go out there and teach and think they holding the Lord down. Dudes are crazy. Dudes are crazy, man. Alright? You better, you better hope, I hope, you know, let me speak, you know, I speak for myself. I hope, you know, that, you know, the works that I do are acceptable, you know. I pray for the brothers here in Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elder bishops, that our works that we're doing, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, holding fast his, his ordinance, man, his order, you know, and enduring. Throughout the different seasons that our works are acceptable, man. These words matter. Alright. People just read it past. It says holy. Acceptable. I just got to stress that word. Acceptable. 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 It says acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. All right. So being renewed in the mind and transformed. Well, it says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind, that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable. <laughs> there you go again. An acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. All right, that's having a kingdom mentality, man. All right, 
So let's get this, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, sufficient unto the day of evil thereof. Because no matter what we're going through, no matter what it is, we got to keep the kingdom mindset, the kingdom mentality, you know, and troubles are coming. You know, these knuckleheads are, you know, staring up or giving uh, ammunition, you know, for the devil to uh, persecute all of us, you know. That's what these wicked Israelite men are, you know, that I see it now, you know, just looking ahead. I was watching uh, Elder Apostle Gabar's video and he mentioned, you know, the pressure from above and the pressure from below. And he mentioned that, you know, what these guys then did is basically the pressure from below, you know, because they got agents that's, uh, you know, in these different camps, of course, and they're excit exciting, you know, uh, uh, right and carnal to bring us into a trap you know so so Lockyer says but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you all right so what we no matter what we seek in the kingdom first and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you meaning everything that we need okay the necessities you know bread our daily bread you know uh health you know shelter protection refuge you know uh uh water you know we need the things that we need the lord knows all this will be added to us as long as we keep a kingdom mentality throughout it all right and it says in his righteousness because with that kingdom mentality you want the earth to be established in righteousness so that just sums it up the kingdom mentality it says take therefore no thought for tomorrow for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day of evil. So the hell with tomorrow, it's about what's today. So did you do your lesson today? <laughs> you know, you got to ask yourself, did you do your show today? You know, it's all about today. Tomorrow's going to be what tomorrow is. Today is what's today. You know, so uh, this is the book of Philippians chapter four, verse four. Rejoicing in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Most High. So you got to pray. You know, we got to pray. How should I say it? Pray without ceasing. You got to pray. And it says, be careful for nothing, meaning open your mouth and pray to the Lord for whatever it is. You know? It says, um, but in everything by prayer and supplication, which the word supplication means to be, it says with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the most high. So let your requests be made known. Let it be made known, man. We say, Tupac said, holler if you hear me. <laughs> holler if you hear me, you know. <laughs> um, it says, um, verse 7. And the peace of the Most High, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have but those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the most high of peace shall be with you all right so paul is an example he said the things that you saw me do you see me do he said and the most high of peace shall be with you so paul's writings all right is edifying paul's writings is validated and certified all right sanctified by how about shimmy how was shot you know, unlike some camps, they hate Paul's writings. You know, they say his writings don't matter. You can wear a hat, you know. Dudes are crazy. Let me read this and I'm going to close. This is Matthew chapter 18 and 1. Matter of fact, let me read this. This is uh, the book in second address that I have. 16 and uh, verse 35. 
Hear now these things and understand them, you servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. And when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains, when a child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O my people, hear my word, make you ready to the bat to thou battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Alright, so that's important, okay? Because the scriptures say, Behold, the word of the Lord receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. So this is why you want to be in a kingdom mentality because the Lord is he's bringing forth the plagues. Okay, and the ultimate plague is going to be when the Lord shoot that thermonuclear missile. All right, or let me say missiles. Okay, on this land called Babylon the Great. Okay, he's going to make this place to be... Um, how it's written, contaminated, all right? So, you know, it's important to have a kingdom mentality. You know, Salaki, I'm losing my little, my train of thought. And uh, I think that's the lesson. I feel like the spirit is leaving. So I'm gonna close, man. All right, I did have more precepts, but I hope you got the message. I've done a lesson like this before. You know, if you're looking forward to seeing that lesson, just dig in it you know, on the channel. I think I call it a kingdom, a kingdom mindset or something like that, but just wanted to touch on it again, man. You know, no matter what you're going through, keep the kingdom mindset, man. The kingdom mentality. All right. Because, you know, you got a lot of ninjas out here that know they Israelites. Okay. And they acting like they the forefront uh, soldiers of Yahweh Shah and they not. You know, these guys are uh, wicked men. Or let me say wicked reprobate men. And I only say that because of their actions and what they say. And what they're doing you know it's amazing you know when the scriptures say this and then they doing that you know then when you try to reprove them they don't take the correction they take it as hate you know you can see the agents you know when they open their mouth you know you can see them so anyway lord willing i pray you will edify i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem racha kodash Double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. Shalom.